everyone, how's your week going? I'm hoping it's awesome, mine's been fantastic, the weather's been great, I'm really close to popping on some shorts. So uh, Aaliyah's back with us this week. Um, you've, had, you've seen her before, but she's got a really cool art project we're gonna do later, she's gonna help me out with a memory verse, so I'm excited that she gets to jump in here with us, and she's on her own this time, so that's awesome. Um, this week, they're talking, they're, they're in John this week, okay? And they're talking about a guy named Lazarus. So um, I don't wanna give you all the details, but when it comes to big things like this, when it's just mind-blowing what Jesus did, this one is huge, right? Um, if you get bored and you want to, you know, jump into it, Lazarus, it's an amazing, amazing story. Um, so where, when you're at Journey Today and they're going through the story, um, don't be afraid. You know, I always say pizza, popcorn, whatever. I went with vegetables last week. Let's go with fruits because it's spring. We want to get out there. Uh, maybe some uh, strawberries coming up. So um, grab some of those, have a seat. Don't be afraid to push pause and just you know, listen, right? And take a look at it and maybe follow it in the Bible. Because it's only about one, it's one through 44. John one through 44 is what they're talking about. And it's really a quick read. So, and it's really, really powerful. So um, I want to let you guys get to it and we'll hang out with Aaliyah in a little bit. <laughs> yeah! I'm okay. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name's Tim. And I'm Casey. Hey Tim, why, why were you crying? Oh, well I was crying because you were crying. Why were you crying? Well, <laughs> I was crying because you were crying. Why, why were you crying? Well, I was crying because you were... Wait, I don't know how this whole thing started, but to be honest, it felt kind of good. Seriously, sometimes it's nice to just get a good cry in. In fact, that's exactly what everyone did in today's true Bible story. You see, there was a man named Lazarus who died, and everyone who knew him was incredibly sad. That's right. Everyone bawled their eyes out. Except for Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. No, Jesus cried too. Wait, what? Jesus is God. What does he have to cry about? That's a good question. And I think the best way to answer it is to read the story. So how about this? In just a second, press pause on the video. Then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, we'll see you back here. Whoa, isn't that one of the saddest starts to a story? I mean, Mary was crying, Martha was crying, Jesus was crying. The whole town was crying. Seriously, there were so many people crying. They easily could have used up an entire box of tissues. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? That gives me an idea for a little challenge. How about this? Let's race to see who can empty an entire box of tissues the fastest. Each box has the same number of tissues in it, and you can only pull one at a time. Whoever finishes last has to spin the Wheel of Misfortune. <laughs> and do whatever it says at the end of the episode. Are you ready for this? You're on. Let's do it. <laughs> Shall we? In three, two, one, go! It's time to spin the Wheel of Misfortune. What's it gonna be today, Casey? Drink pickle juice? Take an ice bath? Maybe an egg on your head, perhaps? Let's find out. 
Oh, a pie in the face. At the end of this episode, you're gonna get a pie thrown straight at your face. Okay, but before that, let's clear off this desk. That challenge was a blast, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you get your consequence. But first, I want to point out a fun fact about the story we just read. Did you know that story has the shortest verse in the Bible? It only has two words. It says, Jesus wept. Isn't that so cool to know that Jesus cried? Sometimes people think, I'm too old to cry. Or, I'm too tough to cry. Or, I'm too cool to cry. But it's not true. There's nothing wrong with being sad or crying. Jesus was a grown man and no one is as tough or as cool as he is. Yet he cried. But Casey, here's what I wonder about. Why exactly do you think he cried? What exactly made him so sad? That's, that's a great question. The Bible doesn't say for sure why Jesus cried, but it gives us some pretty good clues. Jesus knows everything, and he knew Lazarus would come back to life. And so he probably wasn't too sad that he was dead. Instead, Jesus started crying when he saw that everyone else was. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever started crying just because someone you love started crying? That's what happened to Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Jesus feels our sadness. Yeah, sometimes when you feel sad, it's easy to think that you're all alone, but you're not. When you feel sad, Jesus feels sad with you. He's there for you and he wants to hear from you. In fact, that's what today's Bible verse talks about. Take a look at this verse. My tears have been my food day and night. All day long, people say to me, where is your God? When I remember what has happened, I tell God all of my troubles. Psalm 42, 3 and 4. When the writer of this psalm says, my tears have been my food day and night, he's saying that he's been crying all day long. He's incredibly sad about something. So what did he do about it? He told God about all of his troubles. Hey, you know what? That makes me think of a question. Is there something making you kind of sad right now? What is it? Press pause and discuss. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you had some great conversation. Sometimes when you're sad, it's tempting to keep it to yourself, but you need to do what the writer did. Talk to a friend, talk to your parents, but especially talk to God. He wants to hear from you. That's right. Jesus has compassion for you when you're sad, so you can cry out to him. You can tell him about all of your troubles and let him know what's making you sad. And if you're looking for a way to get your joy back, think about this. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. That means that Jesus has power over sin and death. And if you believe in him, when you die, you get to live with him forever in heaven, where there's no more sickness, no more death, and no more sadness. And no more wheel of misfortune. Yeah, that's right. But in the meantime, bye everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. Friends. This, this is know. living. You <laughs> That's just living. <laughs> There's some paper towels. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. We are here with Aaliyah. She's been here before. She's got a little art project later. We're pretty pumped up to get to. Um, right now, we're going to do our memory verse. Okay, it's in Psalms 42, 3, and 4. Now, it's kind of a long one, but uh, she's going to jump in and read it for us. My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me all day long, what, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one. With shorts of joy. Yep, shouts of joy. Among us the first oh, excellent. Nice. So you nailed that. So what it's basically saying is, um, 
you know, God's listening to us. So um, we, we, we can praise and we can, we can reach out to him and he wants to hear our words, right? He wants to hear us and he's always listening. So he's there for us. So even in our worst and our best and we screamed, please, God, help me. Or, oh yeah, nailed that, God. He's right there for us. So that's a pretty cool thing, right? I mean, that's an amazing thing. I think that's awesome. And she nailed it pretty much on the first reading. So, and this is like the biggest memory verse we've done so far. So um, that's awesome. So, um, but there's something we got to do now. Where are we headed? What? To the music. Yeah, we're going to the music. Woohoo! All right. Mayday, mayday. The enemy is closing in on all sides. I repeat, the enemy is closing in on all sides. We need some help. We need some armor. We need some armor. <laughs> And the breastplate of righteousness and the belt of truth Be ready to go and preach good news Looks like everything's gonna be fine We actually had access to armor the whole time We just needed to put it on Over and out Now, Aaliyah's here um, What are we making? What are we gonna do today? A coffee filter butterfly So a coffee filter butter So what is that? So so we have what? Some water? Mm -hmm. Right? Like a spray bottle? coffee filter and some water So you just got regular coffee filter Just normal stuff I use this every morning yeah, pipe, you can get those everywhere, dollar store, they're not expensive, and you got some markers, right? Mm -hmm. And then you basically spread it out like this, right? So you wanna show, so show us what we're gonna do. Show so us how we're gonna do this. We're gonna make these. Oh, nice. Which are really cool. And there's, boy, you could do tons of different things with the colors on this. So how do we start, what do we do? So first you get the markers. Okay. And those are just kind of regular markers, right? Just color mm -hmm. markers that kids use all the time. Nice. And you do any design you want. Okay, okay. So show us up. She's, I guess you could take a lot of time or you could take a short time on this. And if you're not good at art like I am, um, it's probably a little sillier, but I think it still comes out pretty awesome. So it looks like at this point, she is just drawing the design around the outside. And that's pretty cool. And just to let you know, it's also on a little tin thing because it gets a little wet because we do use this right here to make it a little wet. So and this is really, then, so right. It bleed through. right, so the water, yeah, the water will bleed through. So this is a good idea. That way, you're not putting marker on your counters or stuff at home. So, mom, dad, or whoever will be a little pumped up if you're protecting stuff. So, and this is something you could make a bunch of them if you wanted to. You could give them out to friends, 
family. You could do a lot of cool stuff, and it's all just kind of your personal artwork. So I think that's pretty awesome. She's a pretty artistic kid, so I've known her for a while now, and she's always got some really good ideas for art. So that's pretty awesome. It looks like she's just going with a outside. Yep, going some colors. She picked one of my favorite colors, by the way. So that's awesome. All right. And good deal. That looks good. Very cool. I'll put this out of our way here. So what are we going? Are you going to do, just do maybe a couple colors on this this time just to kind of show us? I think that earlier when, when she has more time, because we're kind of not really on a time crunch, but we're kind of, uh, we go through these kind of fast. The more colors you put on, the more pretty they can be. Because if you look at this, I mean, this is pretty awesome. It's got some really vibrant colors and they kind of mix with each other, which is awesome. And this one, it looks like it completely mixed. So that's pretty cool. And it's all about the... Uh, pipe cleaner I think that you picked the color for so that's pretty awesome she's putting some purple on it right now nice very cool I do one more color mm -hmm. what are you thinking hmm there's a lot of good ones in there ah red nice red color I like it I like it so she's doing a really good job of making nice lines I always struggle to it's color kind of inside the lines it's just yeah well that's cool though yeah yeah, this is pretty neat. So she's just a little, doing a little bit over there. Nice. She just put a little bit of color on. She's just giving you an idea this time. Like I said, I think it, I think these they take a long time when they really take their time to do a good job on them, and they and come out really a, pretty. It takes like five minutes to dry. Yeah, it takes a while. Do you just hang them up to dry, or do you just leave them sitting on this or something? Because if you hung them or something, it, I don't know. Because you could put fish line on it and like hang it from. A, light or something you know that'd be pretty cool grandma grandpa somebody would probably love to get something from the grandkids so that'd be pretty cool very nice so do you want to give it a shot and show us how the water works through on that one because sure. i know that given time i think she would make it fantastic but i think it's pretty cool so here's her water bottle i'm gonna let her handle it she's gonna show us how to do it let's let her finish this one real quick like and then, uh, yeah, most of the stuff, I'm pretty sure, I mean, you may not have pipe cleaners at home, but I think, you know, they're pretty easy to get. I mean, coffee, I mean, we've got plenty of coffee filters at our house. We've always got markers laying around, so um, I think it's pretty cool. I can't have markers in my room, only the basement. Yeah, I understand that. Our, our puppy, our new puppy, kind of chews stuff up, so we can't have markers around the house. Yeah. You know what you could also do with this, because I'm kind of crazy? You could actually put another pipe cleaner on the bottom and give it feet. Right? That would be crazy. Wouldn't that kind of neat? Just kind of wrap them around, give them a little feet so it could sit somewhere. I don't know. That's pretty neat. All right. You want to spray it? See what she turns out to? Because I'm wondering what it does, what the spray, how much it bleeds into each other. Because that's really the cool thing, right? When it kind of bleeds into each other. All right, so, so watch. So you don't do exactly like this and just go okay. around. You only do it two plays like this. Okay, I got you. So you give that's it a little not. room. Yeah, that's all right. That's right. So let's give it a little room. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. There you go. So she just put, she didn't douse it like crazy, but she gave it a little bit. So, and then basically you what, let it dry, mm -hmm. right? And, and then, then and then what one, if you were going to, what one of these would you pick to go with that one? You go with a red one. All right. So she's got the red one. And basically what you're going to do with that, show us kind of, you're kind of just turning it into, I mean, it's pretty easy. Show us how you, how, what that looks like when you make one of these, like this part of it, without this in it, just show us. What's that look like? So you fold it in half. Right. Nice. And then you pinch at the bottom, then you twist it. Oh yeah, there you go, right there. Right. Then you put your finger right here, and then oh, you put right. your finger in your thumb. Because that allows you to slide this. this into it, right? Then you take the antennas and then you twist those. Very cool. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, even I can pull that off. Todd will probably be able to pull that off pretty easily. So that's pretty awesome. And then once this dries or whatever, you would basically Fold it. How would you fold? You can show us even if it's a little wet. Show us how you would fold that to slide that in there. What would that look like? So you only take this and this. Right. And then, you, then you pinch them together. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. And then that would just slide through here. Mm -hmm. And that would create your little, basically that's going to create these things, which are pretty awesome. So that's pretty sweet. That's a pretty good art project. I think you nailed that, Leo. That's awesome. Thank you for coming in today and helping out with us. I think Thank that's pretty cool. You want another pipe cleaner? And I think you can get really creative with it because um, she's showing you how to do it, and I think it's a pretty awesome thing we can do and at home. If you're so. even more creative, you can take two pipe cleaners and then twist them around. Right, right. There's Yeah, you could do a lot of stuff. I mean, you could probably make like a spider butterfly. 
<laughs> right, right? I mean, eight legs, you know, whatever. A unicorn butterfly, whatever. There'd be some really cool stuff put a little on it, so awesome. So, Leah, I want to thank you for coming in with us today. You were awesome. I appreciate it. As always, I want you to come back soon, you know. With or without your brothers, it's cool. I like to see you. And you guys remember this week, God is all about wanting to be with you, right? So don't be afraid to cheer out to him and yell out to him and reach for him when you need him, and he'll be right there. So you guys have a great week, and uh, thanks, Aaliyah, for coming in and hanging out with us. Bye, guys.